Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Cole Kakamas and welcome back to my channel. For the past years, I've been teaching myself how to code, but I've been slowed down numerous times due to a lack of motivation. Over and over again, I would take several day or even week long breaks, which would pretty much just cancel out everything that I was learning. I was retaining very little information and on top of that, I wasn't really practicing and applying my skills. I would say that learning to code isn't inherently difficult, but having that will, that motivation to continue doing it really is. I'm not trying to say it's easy because it's not, but if you really do put in the time and the effort, coding will eventually click. So these tips I've compiled are definitely aimed towards beginners, maybe even someone like myself six months ago, but they definitely work for anyone at any level. The truth is that you never stop learning, so you're always going to need that push. You are essentially telling a computer to do something that will make your life easier. And having the passion to do that is going to bring motivation in itself. And so on that note, let's get into it. Tip number one is to have an end goal in mind. When I first started to code, I was all over the place. One week I was learning web development, the next game development, and the week after that iOS. I had no clear path and I was really just trying to learn everything all at once. You're not gonna be able to focus on more than one language or technology at the same time and still be able to actually retain that information. You wanna find something that you enjoy and really stick with it. This end goal is something that you want to accomplish with coding in the long term. Now, this doesn't have to be anything crazy, and you could just be learning coding as a hobby, and that's completely fine. But it will be something that makes you want to learn. Knowing that watching that next tutorial or building that new feature is going to bring you one step closer is going to make the whole process a ton easier. As an example, something that I'm really passionate about right now is web development and web design. My end goal is to create software apps and build e-commerce stores for clients as a freelancer. Every day, I know that watching another video on my course and working on one of my side projects is bringing me that much closer to my dream, and this really pushes me. So on to tip number two, which is to stay organized and consistent. What I mean by this is to make coding into a habit, something that you're always doing. Whether it's 30 minutes or three hours, it really doesn't matter. As long as you find a time that you can fit in your schedule for coding, it will eventually just become second nature and you won't even think about doing anything else. Also, I highly recommend that you build a list of short-term goals for yourself that you can put into a calendar or to-do list. This makes it easier on yourself because instead of looking at the complex topics that you have to learn, you're breaking it up into smaller, more manageable pieces. For the past few months, I've been using Notion where I have a bunch of different pages set up for not only coding, but also content creation. This has drastically sped up my workflow and also helps me keep track of everything that I'm working on. Next up for tip three is to have a good environment. I cannot stress enough the importance of having a great workspace. This is somewhere where you can sit or stand if that's your thing in peace and focus on what needs to be done. Now, you don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars on a setup like myself, but as long as you have somewhere where you can be comfortable, that's what really matters. If your budget allows it, I highly recommend you invest in a quality chair. After all, it is what you will be spending most of your time working in, unless of course you do use a standing desk. I'm personally using the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2, which I'm really in love with. It's pretty comfortable, has a bunch of customization options, and for $369, it's really not a bad deal. Aside from having an actual workspace, making your environment quiet and free from distractions is just as important. Try turning on some non-wordy music like lo-fi beats or some white noise that you can relax to. These sounds will calm you down and they will help you to become more focused. Tip number four is to be disciplined. Now, I do believe that all the previous tips will help you to become more motivated, but there still are times where you're not going to really feel like doing it and you're going to need an extra push. Your self-discipline is what's going to push you through when your will won't. The definition of discipline is the practice of training yourself to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. Now, I'm obviously not saying to go hurt yourself, but rather push yourself to code even when you don't feel like it. It's like when you don't feel like waking up for work in the morning, but you like to eat and have a house. While you may not always feel like coding, the only way to achieve your end goals is to be working towards them. Finally, at tip number five is actually to prevent burnout and take a break. There's this toxic culture that exists, not just in programming, but really anywhere on the internet. And it's just like hustle mentality, hustle culture, the thought that you need to be working like 24 seven to be able to achieve your goals. And the fact is that it just, it doesn't work. It's not true. In the end, you're actually only pushing yourself back further. Your body can only physically work for so long before it just needs to shut down and you're really just gonna end up being more unproductive. Learning to code isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It takes an immense amount of effort to accomplish this and so it's so crucial that you give your mind the chance to rest. Take a break every so often and go for a walk or grab a glass of water. You wanna make it long enough so that you can clear your mind and feel refreshed, but not so long that you're gonna lose your mojo, so to speak. I would say that five to 10 minutes is a good rule of thumb. Overall, I have not really had a great pass with coding. It took me over a year and a half to really get off my ass and take this seriously. 
Just a few short months ago, I realized that I truly do have a passion for code and content creation, and this has driven me to grind every single day. I hope that these tips have helped you and gave you a new mindset that will help you to be more productive and motivated. If you have any questions or something to add, leave it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe with bell notifications so you're notified next time I upload. Good luck and take care guys.